is Paige Leanne, also known as I Heart Page, and welcome to my channel. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, definitely don't hesitate to hit that subscribe button, hit that bell so you won't miss out on any of these notifications, and let's get this started. Okay, y'all. So, I figured I would do something a little bit different, but I thought it would be fun and interesting to do this. So, me and my boyfriend have kind of been like searching online, little old wise tales and myths about if you're having a boy or a girl <laughs> and it was actually pretty neat some of the ones that we heard so i figured i would just do a video and i'm going to keep tally marks so i have a purple pin for the girl and blue pin for the boy and i'm just gonna keep tally marks to see which one outweighs the other one and at the end of the video y'all we're gonna know what I'm gonna have like yes no I'm joking y'all I don't know if this stuff is true or not some of them sound like they could be true and then some of them I'm kind of like uh, I don't know but we're gonna see okay y'all so if I keep looking down I'm actually strolling on my tablet which is below this on my stand so I'm just gonna go through a few of them so the first one has to do with the heart rate. So it basically says that if the heart rate is 150 and up, you're having a girl. If it's 150 below, it's below 150, you're having a boy. Last time um, we did get to hear the heartbeat and I'm actually gonna let y'all hear that heartbeat. But the last time I got to hear the heartbeat, it was 100 and 55 if i'm not mistaken so that just did make it but yeah it's saying we're having a girl if we go off of that so i'm gonna take my purple we're gonna put a huge tally mark for a girl okay so another one is if your partner is gaining weight is another one. So it says, if your partner is gaining weight alongside you, you're having a little boy. If your partner stays the same weight, you're having a little girl. Okay, so I'm going off of my boyfriend's opinion on this. And he thinks that he has gained weight already this time. And I think that he gained weight with um, Faith when I was pregnant with her. But he thinks he's gained more weight this time. So I'm just going off of him and what he's saying because, of course, I can't really tell. He looks the same to me, to be honest. But we're going to go off of what he says. And he says he has gained weight. So that means one tally mark for a boy. So we're tied right now, y'all. This is kind of fun and exciting. <laughs> So the other one is spontaneous acne. If you've been having acne, you're having a girl. If you don't, you're having a boy. This one is kind of, it makes me wonder if it's true. And the only reason I say that, because when I was pregnant with Faith, I would still have breakouts. And I usually only have like one pimple pop up a month. And when I was pregnant with Faith, that's how it was too. It was like my cycle was still, you know, because I get a pimple every month when my cycle comes on. I didn't have my cycle anymore, but I would still get a pimple. Like it was still so, and of course we had a girl, Faith. So this time I haven't had no breakouts, no pimples, nothing. Absolutely nothing, y'all. So if we go off of that one, we're having a boy. Okay, so I put another tally mark for the boy. <clears throat> um, another one is morning sickness. I'm sorry, y'all, if my chair keeps on. Let me get comfortable. Okay, <laughs> another one. I've been having back aches, y'all. Not bad yet. It was terrible with Faith, but I can only imagine how it's going to get. I pray it doesn't, y'all. Okay, but um, the next one is morning sickness. It says that if you've been having major morning sickness, major sickness period, because this time I've had sickness period, doesn't matter. Morning, evening, night, noon, it doesn't matter. Brunch, lunch, dinner, doesn't matter. Snack time, I've had sickness. It doesn't matter. This second semester, I mean, I said second semester like school, <laughs> but 
this second trimester has definitely been a lot better than the first. Y'all, the first one was just... I don't even want to talk about that first one. But it says that if you've been having a lot of morning sickness, a lot of sickness, you're having a girl. It says that girls have actually put more hormones into your body. And you, you already have a lot going on with your hormones because you're pregnant. Plus, women have hormones. So, they're saying because there's so much hormones in your body and your body's so off balance, it causes you to have a lot of sickness compared to you having a boy. You wouldn't have that much sickness. So, if we go off of that one, I'm going to put a tally mark for another girl. So, the next one is pregnancy cravings. If you've been craving and eating a lot of salty stuff, you're having a boy. If you've been craving and eating a lot of sweets, you're having a girl. Let me tell you, y'all. I have so been craving salty cheese um cheddar like no sweets really sometimes sweets even turn off like my taste buds like i can't even explain but sometimes seriously sweets make my mouth i just don't like the aftertaste it leaves and so i have to drink a lot of water <laughs> to kind of even rinse out my mouth after sweets sometimes so definitely on that one it's salty so i'm putting on a tally mark for a boy Okay, what do we have next? So next we have about the dividing line, you know, the line that goes down pregnant mom's stomach straight down the middle, you know, starting at the top and then it goes down below the belly button. It's saying that if it runs below the belly button, you're having a girl. If it stays above the belly button, you're having... Hold on, hold on. If it runs, yeah. If it stays above, you're having a boy. I don't really believe in that one, but I'm just going to go off of what it's saying, which is really weird because um, I guess in that case, I would be having a boy and girl because right now mine is above the belly button and it's below already and i'm only 17 weeks and it was the same way with faith i'm gonna put a picture as well so y'all can see this is like shortly i think i had her if not a few days after this picture or the next week but yeah it was above and below it was darker below and i think that i read something else that says if it's darker below the belly button you're having a girl and if it's dark all the way down, like the top and the bottom, then you're having a boy, which that one kind of makes more sense. I did see that on another website. It's just not the one that I'm on right now. So if we went off of what that other website says about it being dark above and dark below, I think it would be girl because right now it's darker at the bottom and lighter at the top. So yeah. That would be a girl. So we're gonna put another tally mark for the girls. And we're actually tied right now, y'all. That is too funny. So they are tied. Okay, let's see what else we got. Sleeping position. It says, if you prefer to sleep on your right side, you're having a girl. If you prefer to sleep on your left side, you're having a boy. I have been sleeping mostly on my right side. Yes. Sometimes I start off on my left side, but it's just, it feels more comfortable sleeping on my right side. I'm not sure why. Maybe because we're having a girl. But yeah, if we go off of this, it says girl. So we're going to put another tally mark for girl. Okay. So the next one is the mom's appearance. It's kind of like the acne one, but it's just in beauty and appearance, period. And so what it's basically saying is that little girls steal the mom's beauty and little boys actually boost the mom's beauty and makes them radiant and just all that good stuff is basically what it's saying. So... If we go off of that one, I guess I would say boy because 
it's not like my skin has been bad. It hasn't been breaking out. Right now, I have no makeup on at all, y'all, period, except a little lip gloss. And I don't think I look too bad. I don't know what y'all, I don't know what y'all got to say, but... <laughs> Of course, makeup always boosts people's confidence and make people look better. But yeah, this, y'all, y'all take it or leave it. This, this is me today. Okay. So if we go off of that, I would have to say boy, because I really haven't been wearing any makeup for the most part in any of my videos or anything really. And I still feel like I'm still bringing it without makeup, y'all. So if we go off that one, I'm going to say boy. Okay, so another one is with the hands. It says if your hands have been really soft, you're having a girl. And if your hands have been dry, you're having a boy. I don't really get that one because if I say right now, my hand, my hands are always soft, so that's kind of weird because I don't have rough hands. So I can't really say that my hands aren't soft. They're always soft. But at this moment, I guess if we go at this moment, my hands are dry if we say this moment. But sometimes my hands do get sweaty. I don't know if that makes a difference or not, but most of the time I'm hot when that happens. But yeah, I guess we could say dry. So I'm just going to go with how it feels right now. So that's another tally mark for boy. Okay, let's see what we have next. The next one is the color of your urine. So it basically says that if your urine is a bright color, then, hold on. Yeah, if your urine is a bright color, then it means you're having a boy. And if your urine is a dull color, you're having a girl. For the most part, my urine has been like a dull, pale yellow. But I really think too, and if you continue to read on what it's saying, it has a lot to do with what you're eating, what you're drinking. Of course, if you're drinking more water one day, then your urine is gonna be a lighter color versus a day that you may be dehydrated or not drinking enough water then your urine could be like a bright yellow it's times that my urine even has like a green tint to it not sure why or where that comes from i don't know if it's days that i just eat vegetables or what the case is with that but some days it does have like a lime green type tint to it i know y'all it's probably tmi but okay if we go off of that for the most part i would say that it's dull so we're gonna put another tally mark for girls. Wow, so crazy. We are once again tied. Once again, five and five right now, y'all. We gotta get a tiebreaker. Okay, so I went over that. Hair growth. It says that if your hair on your body, like armpits or anywhere you shave, your legs and everything, grows back faster than you're having a boy. If your hair tends to grow at the same speed or normal speed, you're having a girl. Definitely on that one, I know for a fact, hands down, boy. Because y'all, I swear it feels like I have been shaving so much since I've been pregnant. And it's just like, oh my gosh, I have never realized how much that I hate shaving. I never felt this way before I was pregnant. I'm definitely the type that I love to keep my body up, keep shave, um, stay shaved, clean, all that. But since I've been pregnant, it's just something that I'm like, okay, could I slide with not having to shave today or do I really need to shave? That's kind of how I've been feeling because it grows back so fast on my legs is one thing that makes me mad and my armpits. But yeah, definitely with that one boy like y'all i didn't even have to hesitate or think on that what was like boy okay y'all i ended up collecting and i cut it. some little bo water bottles and drink bottles and ended up doing that way so i put two tablespoons of baking soda and it basically says that you're supposed to mix let me scoot to the side y'all in case so we have a chemical reaction here but it says that you're supposed to pour your urine 
into the baking soda, give it a nice stir, and then let it do what it's supposed to do. If it fizzes, you're having a boy. If it doesn't do anything, you're having a girl is what it's supposed to do. So let's see what's going to happen. Okay, there goes all of it. I'm going to mix it together. What is it going to do? I don't know, y'all. I'm trying not to mix it too much to cause it, you know. Oh. Stir it nice. Mix with some water. I'm going to mix it. Okay. I think I mixed it up pretty good, so. Okay. Whoa, did you hear that? Me Y'all, it's literally doing nothing. And when I first poured it, it had a few bubbles. I don't know if that was just because of me pouring it, but it's literally doing nothing now. It's actually even starting to, like, the baking soda is starting to set back down at the bottom. Oh, I put some spoolie and I missed it. Yeah, y'all, so nothing. So, if we go off the baking soda and urine test, it says we're having a girl. So, that's another tally mark for the girls. Uh -huh. Wow, y'all. So crazy, we are tied. Like, seriously, it's tied right now. So, I don't know what to do in this case because... Okay, I'm going to look up one more old wise tale that I don't already have. And I guess we're just going to go off of this one. Okay, so because we were tied both at six, I was able to actually find another one. And I'm just going to let this one be the tiebreaker because there's plenty of other ones out there. But honestly, I just don't want to keep going back and adding more to this video. So this is just going to be the tiebreaker. And it's actually, if you carry high you're having a girl and if you're carrying lower you're having a boy i know it's probably still too early to kind of say that but i have been showing already to be 17 weeks and i would say that i'm carrying lower this time even my boyfriend thinks that as well because with faith she was sitting up way higher like near my chest literally when I was pregnant, I stayed with heartburn, but of course she had a lot of hair. So I think that myth is true. I definitely believe that myth is true. I had heartburn with Faith and Keyshawn and they both came out with a head full of hair. So I definitely believe in that myth or that old wise tale. Whole nother story. But yeah, so if we go off of that one, the last tiebreaker, I would say boy, and I'm sure my boyfriend would say boy as well if he was here. So, we're going to give another tally mark for boy. And, y'all, it was a close one. It really was. But it's saying that boy is winning and girl has six. And like I said, y'all, it was kind of back to back. So, that was actually really interesting and fun to see how it was going to turn out because it's my first time actually sitting down and just doing tally marks and adding up how many who had how many points and to let y'all know we're actually wanting a boy this time the only one that does want a girl is faith and yeah y'all she's kind of a handful and can be a drama queen so we're just like we're not looking forward to going through it with two girls but at the end of the day it's all about the baby being healthy it's all about me being healthy having a successful healthy pregnancy delivery and it's a blessing regardless, boy or girl. So at the end of the day, just know having a child, having a baby is a blessing because it's so many people, so many women out there that want to have children and have tried to have children over and over again, and they can't conceive. So just having a child, period, and especially that it's healthy, that's a blessing at the end of the day. So I hope y'all enjoyed this video. And, oh, yeah, another thing, y'all, if y'all stick around this whole time, the bonus is you get to hear the baby's heartbeat if you stick around this whole time. So, I'm going to go ahead and slide that in.
to move. <laughs> there it is. That's it.